Good evening and welcome back. If you are new to the channel, I'll just give you a bit of an overview of what we're doing here. We mainly play PES 2021 Master League career, but we've been playing a few seasons now. I started as Malaga with the default players. I've worked my way up from La Liga 2 into La Liga. We've actually now won La Liga two times, I believe. We've won the Champions League, we've won the Europa League. We've finally won the Copa del Rey after having a bit of heartbreak the first couple of seasons. And as you can see, looking at the squad, there's quite a few regens in there. So you've got the likes of Messi, Ruben Castro as a regen. You've got Neuer, Modric, Trippier. And like I say, the channel is mainly focused on sports games. So PES 2021 is normally Monday to Saturday daily videos in the Master League. And for the past couple of months, we've been playing EA PGA Tour every Sunday. No commentary on that. I've been posting very good rounds, so sub 60 rounds, you know, 55s, 58s, things like that. Really enjoying that game at the moment. And we have previously dipped into more sort of action y games or non sports games in the past. We had a playthrough a while back of the Resident Evil 4 remake, which I absolutely loved. The original was one of my all time favourites, and that was on the channel a while back as well. So if you want to go and check them out, the full games are on there as a playthrough through and I just kind of wanted to say off the bat I really do appreciate any sort of views that I get please do like the video if you can and drop a comment down below to let me know what you think of either the channel itself or just PES 2021 what would you like to see from eFootball if you play that I did dip into eFootball a while back but I am really waiting for the Master League career which they did promise a while back but it's just not seemed to happening for some reason if they ever do the Master League on there and I try it and I really like the game I probably will do a series on that as well anyway that's all out the way i just thought i'd give a bit of an update in case anyone is new and also normally i just jump straight into the match after pretty much announcing the teams i don't normally waffle on for so much but going into today it's a massive match against barcelona we are nine points clear of real madrid in the league got a really good position there we're still in the champions league we're still in the copa del rey and as you can see lots of players on form today and you've got the likes of pedri and messi returning to barcelona of course messi as a regen but let's jump into the match see if we can beat barcelona at home and it is raining today at La Rosaleda. I love the stadium. Let's see if we can get another three points against Barcelona. I think they're currently in fourth spot. And we're nine points clear of Real Madrid. Then I think it's Atletico Madrid. And I think Barcelona in fourth. Yeah, but good. Good stuff in here. Really uh, enjoying this series at the moment. It's been a few days since I've played it. And I've said it before on the channel. But I do normally play... You know, I play in bulks. And then I'll give it a break for a little bit. Just because of other commitments. You know, work and um, my son and all that stuff. I normally play, play these late at night when he's in bed. Or... Well, whenever I can get the chance, really. Obviously, I've got a full-time job too, so this isn't my biggest commitment or anything, but I love doing it. Oh, Bellingham in here. Oh, gets tackled. Very good tackle there. Thought was in. Of course, they've got Mbappe up front. wonder where he's going to end up uh, this season. I mean, he might have moved by the time you guys watch this. As I'm recording, it is... The 12th of August. The Premier League's just started yesterday. Man City won 3-0 against Burnley. And um, my team, Newcastle, are playing tonight against Aston Villa. So I'm hoping for three points there. But yeah, it should be an interesting season. But where's Mbappe going to go? I think he just announced that he's not intending to leave anywhere this season. But I know PSG want to cash in. So by the time you guys see this, you might have a bit more... Well, you will have a bit of a better idea. Oh, nice play there. Pedri, good block. Maybe let's concentrate on the game. Pedri again. Looks like he got fouled. I don't know if the referee played advantage or just didn't give it. Oh, great work there. And Bellingham's in. He's probably not the first person I would have thought of to be on the score sheet. But lovely work from Pedri. Gets fouled initially. See Bellingham there, plays a give and go, then into Castro, who just lays it off. Really nice little uh, layoff. Castro is very good at that. It was back to goal. Either laying it off to one of the wingers or midfielders or turning and having a shot. Great start though. 
Yeah, and I wouldn't say Bellingham has absolutely lighted up the league yet. Um, and obviously in real life, he's just signed for Barcelona. Eh, not Barcelona, Real Madrid. It's a mistake to make there. Um, interesting to see what he does. I think it'll be fantastic in La Liga. But for ourselves, he's played, you know, well in patches. Hasn't really had many poor games or anything. He just hasn't really lit up, like I say, maybe as much as you would expect. Oh, good save. Nice work there, though. But we've got a team full of lots of players that can score and assist, so it's hard to stand out in this team full of stars now. Here's Vieira. Now Messi. Back into Vieira just about. Messi, and it's in. Messi credited with the goal, but there's a big deflection on that. Scoring against his former club. He gets it back from Vieira, and it's one thing in his mind, having the shot. Oh, big deflection there. Question is, would the keeper have saved it? And it was definitely on target. Which is why it was credited for Messi. But what a start. 20 minutes in and 2 0 up. And absolutely dominating so far. Good tackle from Vieira there. And um, Belling driving it forward. Oh, Messi tried to play in Castro. Just not quite strong enough. The pass. That's poor for Martinelli. Good tackle from Pedri. Oh, come on, referee. That wasn't a foul. No way is that a foul. Gavi was another player I was thinking of signing a while back. Um, but as... <laughs> would be for a massive amount of money. I've got Pedri now anyway, so I'm not really looking at that anymore. Pedri was definitely the better player. Gavi was probably... To sign looked like the easier one to sign. Um, I mean, relatively speaking, still very hard. Still surprised we managed to get Pedri. Did a lot of work to do that, but here's Castro, and it's three. Great way from back of the left back. Driving up the pitch here. Plays a little one two. And then back again to Castro. And it's just a really calm first time finish. Barcelona really struggling to cope with our front three. But also the midfield. And we've got wing backs there as well. You know Trippier. I don't think he's hardly touched the ball. But he's a great support on the right hand side too. Got such a good squad now. That was definitely a foul. I mean he threw himself over and Trippier's got a yellow card for it. I don't normally watch replays of fouls, but let's have a quick look. Yeah, I mean, he, he did, it was a foul, but he <laughs> flung himself over almost the opposite way that he should have felt. Trippier's got to be careful now. Good tackle. Nicely worked out. Vieira. Oh, he gets on what he does. I didn't think he was going to. Nice play there. The referee's kind of in the way. Monelli plays it out to back it. Now Pedri. Pedri. God, he was getting his shirt pulled there. Surprised it wasn't a, a foul. Bellingham. Oh, good strike. Chance for a second there. Castro. And again, Messi in support. That's poor. 
He played many poor passes today, but that was definitely one of them. Guardiol, one of the recent signings, absolutely classy defender. Castro into Martinelli. Oh, Nelly into Martinelli again. Here's Bellingham. Pedri. Castro. Oh, just wide. But it's 3-0 at half-time. I mean, stats-wise, obviously Barcelona had no shots on goal. We had 66% of possession. Um which is quite frankly ridiculous. It's the goals that matter. Oh, hang on. Well, switched off there, and that's a very, very nice finish from De Jong. It's nicely written. There's just acres of space there. Brought out Schubert, hoping that he could uh, close the angle, which he did, but really nice finish from De Jong. First chance they've had. And that's the thing you find on Pairs 2021, especially against some of the bigger teams. If you give them a chance, they often take it. So you can have a pretty much flawless game and you wait one, one little mistake or just give them one little chance and often it results in a goal. Um, sometimes a bit unrealistically so, but... Good to have that difficulty, I suppose. Oh, that was poor from Trippier. Could have really tried to pass it back to Messi. And as usual, we we'll normally make some subs around about the 60 minute mark. Um, so we'll wait and see. He was looking tired. He will want to bring on. a decent ball you know good clearance there just play it safe that's a poor ball could it lead to a counter attack here's Vieira Pedri, Martinelli now. He hasn't been involved too much. Castro, how has he missed that? Absolutely wild shot there. I'll make some subs now. Mariba is coming on for Bellingham. We're going to take off Pedri for the regen Modric. And Diaby's going to come on for Messi on the right-hand side. I mean, Messi's had a very good game. Pedri a little bit quiet, I would say, than normal. I mean, still being very good. And, of course, Bellingham got that goal. And nearly got another. Of course, Modric, a recent signing, the regen. He's going to be some player. Here's Vieira. Diaby. Vieira oh, deflected just wide. Keeper was stranded there. Ooh, that could have gone anywhere as well. Lots of players in the box. Modric, nice play. Now Vieira. Ruben Castro. Absolutely surrounded. Martinelli, who hasn't been involved too much, really. Yeah, we're now. Diaby, and there it is. 4 1. That's more like it. What a player to be able to bring on. Absolute superstar, Diaby is. Yeah, it into Diaby, and it's just a lovely, lovely finish. Exactly what you expect from him. Like I say, Martinelli not involved too much directly, but he has been involved in the build-up to a couple of the goals. Of 
course our captain and Giovi's the vice captain him coming on Vieira used to be a captain um, and the only reason why we switched it is because Martinelli and Diaby both have a, a trait I suppose you want to call it that when they're captain the XP for other players has increased a little bit <laughs> Martinelli gets his goal Castro really probably should have went for the shot but he was unselfish nice play from Trippier here such a great right back I know he got a yellow card earlier but Castro should have went for goal really but Martinelli taps it in sends the keeper the wrong way and apart from that blip at the start of the second half where we let in that goal it's been pretty flawless really um, oh, nice play Yara Diaby oh is he fouled he gets it back though <laughs> and it's six and it's Castro again his second of the day Diaby I wasn't sure if he got fouled here but he wins it back anyway and it's just a simple ball across and Castro taps it in don't need to watch that one again Yeah, we haven't scored any real stunners today. They've all been very good team goals. Um, but I'm happy with that. It means we're playing well. Oh, Cavario wins it there. It's not the best of passes, but gets through. Here's Modric. Just about gets it through, but lots of passes being blocked. Even on 80 minutes, we're closing them down, pressing them. And that's one of the highlights of our play. Modric. Back to Modric, and what a finish that is from the regen. He is going to be some player in the future. What a lovely finish from the uh, substitute. Martinelli again starting it off. Fiera with another assist. The touch is what did it. That first touch, it just brings it out from his body a little bit and sets it up for the shot. But what a strike it is. See that first touch. Almost on the half volley. Rakitic coming on for Gabby. It's not really going to do much good now with only a few minutes left. 7 1 down. I do like to keep a clean sheet as well, so a little bit disappointed that we let in that goal and it was sloppy defending. But it is against a, a very good team. I know 7 1 doesn't say much for them, but technically they've got a very good tack chance here again. Great tackle. And Cavario wins it back again. Oh, nice play. Well, I don't know why the two players ran out the way of the ball pretty much. Oh, come on, ref. It doesn't have... Well, all the referees in this game. I thought that was a good tackle. Maribet has hardly touched the ball since he's come on. I don't know if that might be his first touch. Um, nice ball to... Ooh. Bit of a poor first touch there. It is obviously wet conditions. Good tackle from Lovato. And a chance for a counter. Bringing it very far forward. That's a free kick. One last chance, maybe. It's a terrible tackle. I don't know why Christiansen doesn't get a yellow when Trippi got a yellow for much less. But here he is. Chance here for Trippi. I don't know if this is really one to go for, but we're going to do it. Oh, deflects. Takes all the power out of it. I 
and somehow that's a free kick not sure why but that should just be about full time now and what a game it's been like I say for anyone watching I do appreciate any like that you can put in the video comments subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date too it does help And there it is, it's full time, a massive win to at least keep our lead to 9 points in the league. And ratings wise, probably sort of goes with what I said there. Castro getting a double clearly was going to get man of the match. Pedri, I wouldn't say he was off form, but not quite his usual self. You can see a lot of sevens across the board there. And then looking at the subs, Diaby and Modric both did very well. And exactly what I said, I think Mariba had one touch of the ball maybe. 7-1, massive win against Barcelona at home. And as you can see, we're still nine points clear of Real Madrid, so they're, they're keeping up the pace somewhat. Our next match against Atletico Madrid, who are third, 23 points between ourselves and Atletico Madrid and 24 to Barcelona. So join us then if you can, hopefully plenty more goals. Thank you very much for joining today, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.